Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 leaks have been coming in very hot recently, and today we're going to be discussing some actual in-game images of field upgrades and kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Hey guys, I'm Coffee Man or Elijah, and today I'm going to be bringing you all the details that we know so far regarding these recent leaks. And keep in mind that these all came out from a very early, early alpha build of the game, so things are definitely subject to change. So Reality on Twitter posted these leaks, so all the credit goes to him, and I'm going to leave his link in the description. He actually posted early alpha in-game images on Twitter, but now at the time of making this video, they have actually been removed due to some obvious DMCA reasons. So we are going to go over every league field upgrade along with a few kill streaks in this video, and it seems like they are really going all out with field upgrades this year, more so than we've seen before in the past three Call of Duty games. And there are a few things that may be of concern with how overpowered they sound. So we're going to go over all these and talk about some of my personal concerns concerns on how these could make the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer a miserable experience, but let's go ahead and get into it and go ahead and go over all of the lead field upgrades we know of so far. So first up, we have something called the Sound Veil, and this is presumed to be a jammer, but for sounds pretty much. Possibly silencing footsteps if you're within the area of it, silencing player callouts, and other sounds that may happen in the middle of a multiplayer match. This sounds like a pretty weird piece of equipment, but it sounds like it could be useful in some situations possibly even taking the place of dead silence or ninja. Next, we have something called the Sonar Pulse. This is essentially going to be the exact same equipment we saw back in 2011 with Modern Warfare 3 with the portable radar. So this actually acted as a UAV for a small section of the minimap wherever you place it down. And I'm pretty excited about this one returning because it was my favorite piece of tactical equipment from Modern Warfare 3. Next, we have one called Battle Rage. This is a stimulant that gives you an adrenaline rush and makes your health regenerate more quickly and it gives you resistance to tactical equipment such as flash or stun grenades and a faster sprint refresh speed. This is one of those overpowered ones I'm going to be talking about later in the video because that is a lot of stuff to have just within a field upgrade. So next going down we have the tactical camera. I'm sure you have all heard about this but we did see this back in Black Ops 1 as the camera spike and you could flip between either viewing your mini map or viewing the camera wherever you place it on the map. But in Modern Warfare 2 this year it is said that you will actually be able to throw it to make it stick on walls or ceilings, allowing for some more creative viewpoints. Next up, we have something called the Stim Pistol, and if you've played a Battlefield game, you probably know what this is. It is a pistol that allows you to shoot Stim shots at your teammates to regenerate their health faster. I'm not sure how practical this piece of equipment will be in a, in a Call of Duty game, which regenerates health faster than Battlefield typically and other FPS games, and 6v6 doesn't really seem like a practical game mode or a practical place to be using this considering how small the teams actually are. This will most likely shine in the ground war mode in Modern Warfare 2 which plays very similar to Battlefield Conquest if it's anything like the Modern Warfare 2019 version of ground war. Next we have the inflatable decoy. This is the thing that you can throw on the ground which will actually deploy a decoy soldier to throw off enemies when they come near it. It can help you trick your enemies into revealing their location if they accidentally shoot at this when it pops up at them but it is also rumored that it might have an explosive mechanism, which sounds like it might be a pretty annoying feature if I'm being completely honest. Next up, we have the DDoS, which is essentially just going to act as an EMP equipment. We've seen this in previous games. It is going to disrupt nearby equipment when used in its vicinity. But something cool about the EMP in Modern Warfare 2 this year is that it will actually be able to stop vehicles in their track whenever a vehicle enters the vicinity of this equipment. The vehicles are pretty much just going to completely stall out and the driver will actually have to press a button and perform some maneuver to restart the vehicle. But this specific feature with the vehicles will most likely only be used in Warzone 2 and the ground war mode. Next up and finally, we have the radiation blocker. This is going to act as an iodine pill that your player will consume that will help you with avoiding radiation damage. And there really isn't much else known about this and it only brings up one concerning question to me, which is what in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is going to be causing radiation damage? Because the only type of radiation I can think of in the past for Call of Duty was actually in Modern Warfare 2 2009 on the map Wasteland where you could walk outside of the map and you'd be taking radiation damage. I don't know how they're going to incorporate radiation into Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, maybe as some sort of lethal equipment or kill streak, but who knows at this point it can only be speculated. So that does it for all the field upgrades that have been rumored so far in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer for 2022. And like I said, I'm honestly a little bit concerned about some of these like the Battle Rage and the inflatable decoy which can possibly explode. And in general, I would 
honestly prefer no field upgrades at all in multiplayer. Honestly, the idea of charged up abilities that players will use randomly throughout the match somewhat puts a bad taste in my mouth, which is weird considering how much I enjoy the specialist abilities in Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare, and that could start some controversy as to whether or not they're fair or not, but that could honestly be a whole other video though. But overall, I'm not saying I hate field upgrades or that they're a bad feature, I just think that there are better ways to incorporate some of these pieces of equipment into the game. For example, some of these sounds like they could be better as a perk like we desperately wanted with Dead Silence back in Modern Warfare 2019 and Black Ops Cold War. I mean, honestly, just add some counter perks that can be used throughout the whole match, the same thing that we had back in Black Ops 2 where it was honestly perfectly balanced because you had your Dead Silence or Ninja perk, whatever it was called back then, and then you also had another perk in the same spot like awareness that would make you able to hear people using Dead Silence or Ninja, and it all worked out because you essentially had to sacrifice a bunch of overpowered perks to choose a play style strategically. And a great example of having to choose between different play styles works perfectly with the pick 10 system. Like you could either choose like, okay, I'm gonna use Dead Silence so people can't hear my footsteps, or in the same perk slot, you're like, okay, I'm gonna choose awareness so I can hear people's footsteps, or if I wanna use both, since they're in the same slot, I'll use another pick 10 slot for a wild card to let me use both, but that's gonna take away my ability to have an extra lethal or an extra attachment. It's just the pick 10 system in general was just perfect for creating balance, you know, creating sacrifices and replacing some things for others to choose the play style you want. And that's a lot better to me than just having it as a field upgrade that's gonna randomly charge up in the game and having my enemies be like, oh, I have this dead silence randomly charged up. I'm going to use it at a random point in the game and there's nothing anyone can do about it. The ability to choose and sacrifice certain things for a play style by having these as perks in a specifically within the pick 10 system just works way better in my opinion than having them as field upgrades randomly charged up. Now, as for the battle rage that was leaked, it has like three different, three or four different advantages that come with this field upgrade. And it sounds like they could all be split into different streaks perks and equipment. This one definitely concerns me as of right now because it is something that can be stacked on top of the perks that you get in your, you know, your three perk slots in normal Call of Duty multiplayer. The speed boosts and the health regen can already be put into the tactical equipment where you have to choose one or the other to fit your play style. Like for the health regen, we already have the stem shot and then you could just add another one to choose between that could maybe boost your speed for a few seconds. And you know, you have to pick one or the other choosing your play style strategically. In resistance to flash and stun grenades has already been a perk in every other Call of Duty game such as Blast Shield, Survival Training, Tactical Mask. They all do the same thing just in different games, so it really beats me as to why they want to turn it into a chargeable ability in this game. It just honestly just seems like it's going to mess with the overall flow of a match and could really cause for an unbalanced, unfun experience. And for the field upgrades such as the Sonar Pulse, the Stim Pistol, the Sound Veil, these all sound like things that could fit into a whole separate category for like equipment, similar to what we saw in the Black Ops 1 created class or the equipment category in Black Ops 4, which gave things that don't necessarily fit into the lethal or tactical grenade description their own category. And something that could go wrong with this is a whole team would, you know, run the exact same thing and then have like a, a radar across the whole map and it'd be like they have a UAV the whole game if they can just put a no one down after each time they die or after each time it's destroyed. And to counter this, I would say make the equipment in the equipment category only have a limit of two or three uses that you can use within a match and you have to choose these two or three moments strategically this would add more balance and fun instead of receiving it at random you get to choose the two or three specific moments in the match where you think it would advantage your team the most and that would re really bring together team play in this game and add for some tactical and strategic play styles overall i really do think that the way they have field upgrades right now will severely mess with the flow and the balance of a match due to everyone getting them at random times and just some of them being extremely overpowered as of right now. Honestly, just divide them all into separate categories where they would be best fit. Whether it be into the equipment category, a perk category, or as a lethal or a tactical grenade. And I truly believe that this would make the gameplay experience a ton more fun and a ton more balanced for multiplayer. And based on the past few years of Call of Duty multiplayer, this is honestly something that we do desperately need. Now that I feel that I can comfortably move on from the field upgrade leaks now that I've given some of my ideas on how to change things up. I purposely left the kill streaks for the end of the video because there is far less information on them, but I will briefly go over the five streaks that have been leaked so far.
are. So first of all, we have the UAV, counter UAV. We know these are in pretty much every Call of Duty experience and it's no surprise that they're returning in this one. Next, we have something called the Smoke Airdrop. People are speculating that this could either be a rename for the care package that we all know and love, or it could be something similar to Modern Warfare 2019's Weapon Drop Field Upgrade that will give you a random weapon with high tier attachments on it. Next, we have something called the Fuel Bomb, which is rumored to simply be the Predator Missile we've seen in every other Modern Warfare game. Not sure why they changed the name because Predator Missile is something is a name we all know and love, and it honestly sounds pretty cool, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Next, we have the Cluster Spike, which is said to essentially be everyone's favorite streak from Modern Warfare 3 and COD Ghost. I say sarcastically the IMS. So if you don't remember this, this is a piece of equipment that is loaded with four overpowered bouncing Bettys that will destroy your life if you walk within range of this streak. I'm actually kind of excited to see this return because I do think it was fun and maybe just add a few more kills to be able to earn it because it was a pretty good streak honestly. And finally we have one called the Thermobaric Strike that it will be Modern Warfare's version of the Napalm Strike from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops Cold War. There are obviously going to be way more streaks in the game, some new, some returning which we've seen before, but these are the only leaks we have so far regarding the streaks in Modern Warfare 2. But yeah, that basically covers all of the information I wanted to go over in this video. Please subscribe for all content regarding Modern Warfare 2 news, leaks, and info, along with normal fun all around Call of Duty multiplayer and zombies content. Go ahead and join the conversation and let me know what you think of these leaks in the comments below. And also hit that like button to help my channel in the YouTube algorithm. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.